the ability to set clear financial goals, develop strategic game plan to achieve those financial goals and stick into them, moving towards achieving a positive end result are essential skill sets for the financial planner. Today we will look at the financial planner game plan. And this is an element of the 10X Wealth Leadership Bootcamp. This information is what will literally help you to understand how to develop your financial goals, how to develop the game plan to help you achieve your financial target, how to timeline your financial targets, and so much more. So this program comes to you with a kind compliments of Global Capital Inc. Now Global Capital Inc, we are now positioning ourselves to become a private equity uh, capitalist. And some of the services that we are provided at the moment looks at corporate debt management, corporate wealth management, personal debt management, and personal wealth management. Just a brief overview of those services. When we talk of corporate debt management, we are talking about companies that go to the DCM, ECM, or the SEM, and you buy a debt. What our platform allows you to do is to understand debt mitigation tools. And those debt mitigation tools literally allow you to be able to reduce the debt life cycle, reduce your debt cost, and own the equity in your asset much earlier. In terms of the corporate wealth management, a unique program, this program really talks to you about how not to have your excess liquidity parked and get dust or parked in a 0.1% interest bearing account. We talk to you uh, how the excess liquidity can be leveraged in, as, an, an, as an accredited investor, which open up tremendous opportunities for you to cash flow maximize. In terms of the personal debt management, we know that there are hundreds of thousands, millions of people across the world who take out a debt, a personal debt to purchase their first home. And you, again, uh, allow your debt to run an entire life cycle. And many of you, you encounter difficulty within that life cycle to honor your monthly amortized collateralized debt obligation. So what this program does, what we do at Global Capital Inc, is we help you to understand strategic game plan that gives you the power and the control to better manage your debt. Along with this, when we talk about personal wealth management, in this program, we talk to you about how to build personal wealth. We talk about your smart savers account, emergency savings account, children college funds, early retirement account, and so much more. We are in a pandemic. So along with that, this program also, we also provide training that helps the corporate entities, the private individual and government agency to speak to issues like uh, the corporate paycheck protection program, the corporate cash flow protection program, personal paycheck protection program and we also talk about the government paycheck protection program so today we are set to become a very vocal company when it comes to financial intelligence and providing this support this information that can help to have a stronger impact on the business and the private individual now today i want to talk about the financial planners game plan. I think that this is a very important topic because we see that at the beginning of every year and at the end of the, the year, either at the beginning or the end, millions of people across the world, you develop financial goals, you develop your goals. We call it your, you know, new year resolutions. But in most cases, what you find 
is that you never stick to those goals. So what this program does, it literally provides you with enough information to be able to stick to your game plan. Now the title of this program is the 10X Wealth Leadership Bootcamp. And today we are looking at Financial Planners Game Plan. And we are looking at lesson four. Now in the event that you didn't listen to or didn't see um, lesson three, I want to encourage you to go back to that video so you will be able to link that, that information to what we're going to be talking about today. Today, I want us to talk about a number of important issues as relates to the project financial game planning implementation. But to get to this program started, I want to begin by saying to you very clearly, your efforts to build wealth is not an individual sport. It's a team effort. And it's very important that you get this concept and this understanding very early in the game of positioning yourself to build wealth. It is not that you cannot become an investor investing in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or ETF and hedge funds and, and so forth. You can invest in a range of platforms, but when you have a team, a well gel teamed, it literally accelerates your efforts to build wealth. Now, let's talk a little bit about team because it is not just identifying persons and bringing persons together to function in a team. You need to have the right team dynamics. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, left hand, all of them talking about is listed there. You need to have a team with the right team dynamics. All right. Um, you may have a person, the team who may be able to innovate great ideas, great ideas that has tremendous scalability and tremendous cash flow and potential. But the innovators of that ideas or those ideas may not be the best persons to implement the process because understanding networking, you know, communication and, and motivation and sales strategy may not be a, in their you know, best interest. They are think tankers, they are the strategic uh, thinkers. Now, the strategic thinkers must be married to the tactical leaders and the tactical leaders must also um, network with the operational leaders. So you need to have symbiotic relationships with all of this. So as we go deeper into the 10X Wealth Leadership Program, we really help you to understand some of these essential tenants that may be preventing you from attaining your financial target at the end of the year. So one of the things you don't need to work alone, it's better if you get a team and in getting the team, you wanna get the right team, which we talk about team dynamics. Now, any efforts to build wealth, to attain financial independence, it's very much like being a professional building contractor. Now, why do I say this? A professional building contractor, an engineer, they just don't wake up today and say, let's get the building up. And if you want your financial breakthrough, you just can't wake up today and say, I want to be rich and it's going to happen just like that. No, there's a process to building wealth. There's a process to attaining financial independence. And the 10X Wealth Leadership Program uh, will help you to understand that. The financial planner's game plan is what is gonna take you into the belly of really understanding part of the process that will enable you to attain your financial breakthrough. So let's discuss a little bit, what are some of the essential traits of the building contractors? Because a professional building contractor, a professional engineer is no different from a well-trained, uh, skilled uh, PFA, professional financial advisors. And uh, my advice to you is that you need to start mentoring and coaching to become that building contractor, to become that uh, PFA, professional financial advisor, personal financial advisor, 
where you can do just like what the engineer do. Now, this is some of the things that the building contractors do before they start to build. What are the first thing that they, they do? They conceptualize the idea and then they develop their builder's plan drawing. And what the builder's plan drawing do, does, it means that as an engineer, as a contractor, you can go to Timbuktu, but largely because you have your builder's plan drawing, it clearly states your game plan. It shows the design of the building. It shows the, the height, depth, and width of the building. It clearly shows where windows will be, where columns and posts and steps and the entire works in relation to completing that process will be. It give all of the dimension. So when you're attempting to build wealth, it's important for you to put yourself in this position of strength, to be very much like the engineer, all right? So today we're gonna, let's go a little deeper. I want to begin by saying, as you start taking action to implement your game plan to build wealth, you want to begin with the end in mind, all right? You want to begin with the end in mind. And let's take, for example, you set yourself clear financial goals. And the financial goal that you have set yourself is to attain $5 million in the 12 months, one year. So you want to begin with this in mind, and you must be very clear about what you want to begin. And there are many reasons for this. And as we go into today's program, I will better explain why you need to begin with the end in mind when you start the project implementation process. Now, when you're starting this project implementation, there's four important concepts that I want you to take away here today. One, you must clearly understand the project start date. Two, you must clearly understand the project end date. Three, you want to understand the project completion criteria. All right, the project completion criteria is where we will emphasize for the beginning with the end in mind. What is the project completion criteria? You want to ensure that you have 5M in your bank account before or at the end of 12 months. So you want to begin with the end in mind. Now, the fourth concept here is that project integrity is important. The project integrity, maintaining the integrity of this project is important. Why? And all that you're doing, you want to build a system that is transparent, that is traceable, that is scalable, that is transformable. And part of the process here of the project, project integrity is important in this process. And as we go into this program, I will better explain what I'm saying here. Now, when we talk about the project start date, it's important to recognize that if you do not have the project start date, the project can run away from you. And this is the last thing that you want. The project can literally run away from you based on timeline. Because you don't have a start date and you don't have an end date, but you have a vision that you want to attain $5 million in your bank account within 12 months. And uh, failing to timeline your financial targets can leave you with a rather red train in terms of your dream. And this is something that is not uncommon. We see millions of people across the world. You may say at the beginning or at the end of the year that you want to achieve more. You want to achieve more financially, socially, and in, in so many other ways. But what happened? That goal that you set yourself run away from you. Today we will be examining why those things happen. The second thing that can run away from you is that if the project that you're embarking on is going to take some capital, the, the project can run away from you based on the budget. Because the longer you take to achieve the, the end results, is the more the project is going to cost you. The longer you take to achieve the end results, the project 
will cost you. There's a number of reasons why project may run away on time and run away based on cost or budget. And when you come deeper, when we go deeper into the 10X Wealth Leadership Program, we help you to understand all of this. And in understanding this, you're able to make better informed decisions when it comes to your financial goal setting, your financial game planning, and implementing appropriate steps to achieve desired results. You don't want your project to run away from you based on time. You don't want your project to run away from you based on cost and budget. Your project can also run away from you in many other ways. Your project can run away from you in terms of the project scope. Now, very often you set a target at the end or the beginning of the year that your target is $5 million at the end of the year. That's your target. And you may or may not have identified the key human, technical, and financial resources to help you achieve the end of year target. But here is where either with or without taking all of this into consideration, you expand the scope of the project integrity, the project completion criteria, you expand the scope. Now, every time you expand the scope, it is not only going to take additional capital, but it's going to take additional resources. And the three types of resources that we will talk about here is human, technical, and financial resources. Now, in the absence of having adequate and the right human resource, um, adequate capital and technical resource, it tends to put a weight on the project itself. Now, in fact, the very first project that you set in yourself the very first targets and financial goals that you set in yourself. Um, it may be not a run in the park for the average person, but here is where you're expanding the scope of it. So you need to do the scope analysis. You need to do the, 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 the relevant analysis that is necessary to ensure that you are having a successful project. And uh, in every project, you want to ensure that you have the right team dynamics to support you in achieving the end results. So again, you don't want the project to run away from you based on the timeline. You don't want the project to run away from you based on the budget and the cost. You don't want the project to run away from you based on scope. The project again can run away from you based on the project control. In setting clear financial goals, developing your game plan and timelining your game plan, it's important to have control mechanisms in place in the implementation process. And part of the control mechanism in place is when you, when you set clear and realistic financial goals, it's important that the game plan, because in most cases implementing the game plan, it will take human technical or financial resources to make it happen. And when you lose control again over human technical and financial resources, this also is a platform, is a recipe for the project to run away from you. Now let's take for example that part of the, your, your goal, let's say you're an entrepreneur and you set a goal, and the goal is to increase visibility for your operation, but you either lose your graphic designers, social media managers, you lose a team of these people at the same time. What is likely to happen here? It will compromise the end results that you want to achieve, but all is not lost here because there's something that we call configuration management that will allow you to quickly rehire the right skill set and work the appropriate management skills, configuration management systems to bring the project back on course to achieve your, your graphic design target, your publicity target, your impact target within a timely manner. Here again, it is where most people run away. You lose you know, the, your key resources and you fail to implement the configuration management systems to bring the project back on course and to maintain the integrity of the project, to reach the project completion criteria, the project run away from you.
So these are important things that you need to look at. Now, as we go deeper into the 10X Wealth Leadership Bootcamp, as we go deeper into financial planners game plan, these things will become much, much clearer to you. So I trust that the information that you have so far, it's useful and it's important to you. You don't want your project to run away from you. So in the implementation process of the project, these are things that you must clear very, have very clear in your mind. Again, you want to begin with the end in mind. So every day you will look at the completion criteria that you want to accomplish and you ensure that all the activities that are being designed and implemented, they are complementing the completion criteria that you have in mind. And the completion criteria that you have in mind is that $5 million or $100 million must be in your bank account at the end of 12 months. You want to ensure that you're managing this process. Now, what most people do is set the financial goals. Some even go a step further to develop the financial game plan. But again, you do not timeline it properly and you do not implement it with the control and management systems in place. Now, I'm happy to say at Global Capital Inc., while we are doing this via the classroom for our students across the world, um, we are also supportive beyond just the classroom transfer of information. We have a team of mentors, we have a team of coach, we have a team of supporters that will be literally engaging with you as your accountability partner. And that's to ensure that the goals, the financial goals that you set yourself, you're making the commitment to achieve them. All right, you're making that commitment to achieve them. So we give you that support. We go one step forward in terms of our objective here. Remember, our mission here is not only information transfer. Information must be internalized. Information must be applied and you must be experiencing the results, all right? We are teaching financial intelligence. We teach it how to 10X your corporate income and your personal income. And we believe in our program so much that we will commit time, talent, and resources to you to ensure that you're achieving the things that we have promised to help you to achieve, and that's financial independence. Now let's talk a little bit more about the Project integrity. Now, the project integrity simply means that the timeline must be properly managed because if your timeline is not managed, the project is going to run away from you. And if the project runs away from you based on timeline, it is undermining the integrity of the program. All right? It undermines it because a year may pass, two years may pass, five and 10 years may pass, and you still do not achieve the financial objective because the project has run away from you. The project has lost its integrity, all right? The project budget man managed. The budget wants to, you want to ensure that you're taking steps to manage the budget. You don't want to overspend, all right? You don't want to underspend and underachieve, but if you can underspend and overachieve, why not? There are strategic game plan that you can use in this regard to achieve that, all right? Uh, the project scope must be managed, all right? If you set one clear goal and you assign an appropriate game plan to achieving that financial goal that you set, stick to it, all right? Stick to it. The other thing that I want to say is that there are so many people that are setting goals and you, instead of setting one goal, you set three, four, and five goals and you call them backup plans. You say if one fails, you're going to go to the other one. You know, in my life as an experienced person in this field, it's not that I don't have many goals, but when I'm working on a goal, I work on one goals, goal. I do in-depth analysis into the one goal and I clearly identify the potential of this goal to give me the financial targets that I want to achieve. And once I'm clear in terms of the potential of the game plan and the goal, uh, to, to reach that easily within the timeline and, and so forth, I stick to it. And I stick to one goal. 
at a time, all right? One goal at a time until you achieve it, all right? So this is something that I want you to, to practice. You don't need to have 10 different goals. You need to have one goal that is workable, all right? And to understand if it's workable, you need to look back at my, the last video, uh, which we call Financial Planners Game Plan Part 1, and it talked you through this entire process. You set realistic goal, but we talk about realistic and realism is subjective based on who it is coming from and based on the game plan that you're able to in innovate to achieve your financial target. All right? So these are things that you want to be very clear with. Project control must be managed, all right? You want to manage the entire control process. We will go much deeper into the control and management systems because um, in the next lesson, we will be talking about control and management systems um, because you need to know this. Your project run away from you uh, for one year, two year, five, 10, 15, 20 years. There are people that we are interfacing with who would have had their corporate game plan for many years. They would have had their financial game plans for many years. They have their family game plans for many years, but nothing is not happening, all right? We are happy to say that our mentors, our coach, our support team are here to help you. Our professional financial advisors and personal financial advisors, we are here committed to help you achieve your financial target. All right. So this lesson is going to finish at this point here, but in next week, uh, we will be looking also at the continued additional systems in relation to financial planners. In this program, we said that the financial planners game plan, there are seven important steps for you to learn to really begin to master um, how to set financial goals, how to develop your game plan, how to timeline your game plan, and how to implement the action. There's a number of systems for you to learn, seven important steps. Those seven steps that we have talked about in the first program is financial goal setting. We did talk about this. We talk about financial game planning. We talk about financial timelining. We talk about financial implementation. That's what we look at today. You know, financial implementation. These are everything that you must think about when you come to the implementation process. Moving forward, we will also be looking at financial control and management system. You need to have a control and management system. So if your project moves off course, all right, like for example, you increase your scope and you, you're two months into increasing your scope and then you recognize you should not have done that. What are steps that you can take to pull the project back on course? Yes, if you, so if you can pull it back from two months being off track, it means that you can also fast track your efforts to achieve the end results. And there's a thousand and one ways that you can use to fast track your efforts to achieve your financial targets, all right? Working with an, uh, a financial expert, a PFA, a professional financial advisor, and a personal financial advisor, they can certainly help you through this entire process. So the, what we're also gonna be looking at moving forward, this, the sixth um, system is what we call the financial planning and uh, control management system optimization. The system that I'm working, you want to optimize this. The system that I'm not working, you want to in eliminate them and replace them. And when you replace them, figure out how you can optimize them and make them better. The last concept that we're going to be looking at over the next few weeks is what we're going to call financial planning, control and management systems, systemization. You want to systemize it. And earlier I was talking about this. You want to ensure that your systems that are working they are transparent, they are transferable, they are scalable, and all the necessaries to ensure that there's continuity in this process. You want to ensure that you understand this. Now, it is this knowledge. When you reach that point to build your systems, 
and to understand your systems optimization, your system systemization, this is where you are now beginning to become a subject matter expert because you now would have tested the ground in terms of goal setting, game planning, timeline, and implementation. And you know what works best and what doesn't work. And based on what is working, you are constantly reviewing it and you take a step to optimize it, to make it more efficient. So in one year, it might've taken you an entire year to reach $5 million, but in another year, because you better understand the system and you have better you know, systems in, in place, support systems among other, the human technical and financial resources, perhaps in one year you achieve $100 million. This is not um, unreal, it's real, it can happen. When you understand proper systems and how to systemize the systems that are working best for the people who uh, understand financial intelligence. All right, so I trust you would have enjoyed today's program. We have uh, three lessons left, and that is control management systems, uh, control management systems optimization, and control management system systemization. So over the next few weeks, we will be going deeper into this. And when you would have completed this, I will now issue those who would have completed with this certificate of completion. So you have this to your name that you are now a financial planner. All right. Now, it is not enough to have this certificate. <laughs> it's equally important to apply it. So most, if not all of you, we will carry all of you over to what we call the affiliate brand managers program. And in this program, you will be trained how to become your own boss and how to cash flow maximize. Now we have seen affiliate brand managers across this world and mostly in the developed world who are able to earn in excess of 10,000 US dollars per month. That's over 2 million GYD a month. Can you do it? Yes, you can. So we will be providing you that support to ensure that you are taking this knowledge and you're applying this knowledge. Now, this skill set is, is necessary for millions of people across the world. So I'm quite certain that with this knowledge, you can not only use it to better your life as a financial planner, that is, you have corporate dreams, hopes, and aspirations, and you have personal dreams, hopes, and aspirations, but you can also use this knowledge to help a friend, to help families, to help those people. In fact, when we build your independent platform for you. It will literally be showing you how to attract persons to your to that platform, all right? So in our program, we again, we talk a lot. To, we need financial planners um, to help people with you know, early retirement. You know, people work for over four to nine years and many of those persons reach the age of retirement and you still cannot retire because you do not have a financial game plan. And the question you have to ask yourself, depending on which part of the world that you're at, if your retirement funds, if your pension is adequate enough to give you the lifestyle that you think you deserve. You work here, you work hard for all of your life. Now that you're at the age of the retirement, you're gonna go deeper into financial stress. That is not the place that you want your friends and family or yourself to go. So this is some of the other reasons why we have designed this program, because we really want to provide strategic intervention to people and ensure that people can escape, you know, paycheck to paycheck cycle. There's nothing wrong with work. You keep your job, you keep your job, but there's nothing wrong with you knowing how to leverage passive income cash flow and how to leverage alternative source of income or even how to put money to work for you. This platform here will literally be helping you to understand how to put money to work for you. All right, again, this is not in the theory only. We have the mentors, we have the coach, we have the support team, we have your accountability partners that will be working with you to ensure that you achieve the end results. 
within five to 10 years. You commit to this program long enough and we will show you how to make that massive financial transformation in your life. All right? So I trust that you enjoyed today's program. In case you're joining me for the first time, my name is Gary Thompson. I'm a business development consultant by profession. I'm a humanitarian by nature. And uh, I'm the multiple best-selling author for including Manager's Toolkit and Billionaire Course. My new book, 10X, Branded and Marketing, The Psychology of Doing Business, will be out very soon. It's already written, and uh, it's going to be a book that is going to transform your life if you're in business. This book will talk to you a lot about how to grab attention, how to peak interest, how to arouse desire, how to get the customer into action, you know, how to ensure that once you get the customer into action, you're able to convert first-time users into lifetime customers. And you do this by making a solid commitment to add value, to fix problems, all right? You want that you, the products and services that you are providing to a consumer, it must consistently add value. It must consistently fix problems. And it must literally go beyond the expectations of people. Here is where you're able to really attract and maintain loyal customers, customers for life. We will talk about all that in the game plan as you're moving forward. So I trust that you enjoyed today's program, Financial Planners Game Plan. I want to encourage you that if you find this information interesting, give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this program within your network, and guess what else? Invite other persons to come and join us because all of our introductory programs are free. This Financial Planners Game Plan, it's a free program. We give you two weeks of free training and to really whet your appetite in terms of what this program is all about and how this program can impact and transform your life so you can do better for yourself. You can do better for your spouse. You can do better for your children. You can do better for the people around you, all right? And we are driven by a desire to empower businesses and to empower people. So be blessed. Remember, we're in a period of COVID-19, so I want to encourage you to protect yourself, protect your loved ones, protect those closest to you, all right? Get registered for this program today. Be blessed and see you soon.